Horizon. Guys, I've done so many videos on um, privacy coins, and I've highlighted a particular concern I've always had for privacy coins. Now, Horizon are trying to shed the privacy moniker. They are working with exchanges to try and remove this because fundamentally, they know what I've said is coming. You know, they're smarter than me. I've, read, I've interviewed Robert Viglione, the CEO, on this channel. Um, I think they're doing the right thing. I think this can have gains. They're in a good trend. There's just that privacy moniker issue that I want to talk about. Before I get into it though, guys, if you're new to the channel here, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about uh, when I made the channel. These were all coins that I intended to buy and I bought them when I did the videos so that I could show that I really believe these are going to do well and also that I expect them to make me good money. And you can see what all of these coins were worth when I recorded my videos. You can see the highs these coins hit um, less than a year and a half on and what the profit would have been from $100 into each if you had done that when I released the videos. And if you had done that for all of them and then just sat and ignored them for 16, 17 months and jumped onto your wallet, sold them, your profit from 100 into each would have been over 123 grand, which is not bad. Now, I did sell all of these. We had the market crash. And since the market crash, I've been buying up new coins. These are coins that I think can make me very good money again. Um, the 40 gains, X gains, the 50, the 100. And I actually have them on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. So anytime I find one of them, I jump onto the site. I tell my members what the coin is that I'm going to buy, what profits I think it can have, what percentage of my money I'm putting in. And the members... Ooh, excuse me. And the members can copy along exactly. It means that um, they make the exact same profit as me. There's a nice added bonus there as well is they don't have to do any work. They don't have to dive into the markets. They don't have to read white papers or learn about chart patterns because I'm doing all the work. Now, if that sounds good to you, go to the site and just see what it's all about. See what I've said in the past and what happened. See what the members have earned. Everything on the site is public record. You can verify absolutely everything that you've read. Um by just going through the old videos on this channel. And if you like what you see, guys, try joining me there. So Horizon, look, Horizon is a uh, zero knowledge enabled uh, network of blockchains. They have uh, the ability to support 10,000 different side chains, which effectively gives them a throughput limit of uh, 10 million transactions per second because each side came, chain, sorry, can do 1,000 uh, transactions per second. Um, the founders of Horizon are Robert Viglione. He's the uh, the co-founder and CEO. Like I said, I interviewed him on the channel in 2020, I think, 2020. Um, and we were going through all of the, uh, you know, everything to do with Horizon in that interview. Um, I, I was always really bullish on Horizon. I thought it, was a, it is a very, very strong project. They have one of the largest net, node networks in all of crypto. Um, they have been they're one of the oldest cryptos as well they've been in the market since 2017 they're actually in a long-term uptrend um and what i like about this is because they've used side chains their scalability is through the roof it is a proof of work crypto um and it's got a nice small supply you know 14.5 million max will be 21 million um, you know, same as same as Bitcoin, uh, in terms of max supply, rather. Um, and they have what's the full? Yeah, they've got nearly fifty thousand uh, full nodes up and running. Um, what makes uh, Horizon unique is that Horizon is known for its expertise in zero knowledge based uh, blockchain tech. They've made several advancements in the cryptograph cryptography space uh, including the zero knowledge privacy tool library called gingerlib um, and for the release of their of one of the first zero knowledge based scalability solutions um, they are fully decentralized uh, they are they offer um, enormous scalability because of the 10,000 potential side chains that they can run and operate um, and Look, it's an incredibly strong project. They even have their own faucets, so you can use the, the faucets, faucets, however you want to say it, to try and uh, to earn yourself a horizon for doing nothing. Um, but it's worth noting. Look, 
Horizon is, because of its technology and everything else, considered a privacy coin. And it's worth noting that that's still one of its ways it's categorized. And, um, you know, there's an article here on Coindesk from this, this past summer saying that they're scrapping the privacy coin moniker because of the regulatory scrutiny. And this is always something I have highlighted. I've spoken with many, many people, not only, not only through my videos, but in one-to-one -one conversations online um, about my very, very real concerns regarding privacy coins. And my real concerns have always been the same thing. I don't believe governments are going to allow privacy coins because they want to know everything. We literally have the stories of Edward Snowden and how they were spying on the people. We know this. So why does anyone, like, the idea that privacy coins are going to be allowed to exist is the problem. Um, so Horizon wrote on Twitter, Zen will no longer be considered a privacy coin after the deprecation of the main chain shielded pools. We are actively working with our exchange partners to keep Zen accessible for our global users. Um, this is after we saw um, Huawei delist several privacy coins in September of uh, 2022. Uh, in order to comply with uh, European banking authorities after they published their draft guidance on anti-money laundering risk. And the, the EU have gone really hard against um, privacy coins. They have um, thrown a lot of fear-mongering. They're very, very good at that. Their government, you know, every government's very good at that. So the fear was, these people are money laundering, or these people are funding terrorism, or these people are whatever. Right. And if and, and basically what the threat has been from the EU so far was. We will not allow you to operate an exchange if you allow the trading of privacy tokens. And this was always the thing I've highlighted. You can go through every single privacy coin video I've ever done, whether it's Monero, Pirate Chain, um, Horizon before they had made that announcement. Um, what else? There's bloody loads. Secret. Like the issue I've always had is the moment that government puts pressure on a, an exchange to delist, an exchange has to make the decision. Are we going to lose billions of dollars for morality and go, we are not agreeing to your rules in the EU, so we won't operate in the EU at, and we will willingly lose billions of dollars. It's just not going to happen. And to add to that, this announcement came out five days ago, although this video will probably not come out for a few more days. So, But December 29th, OKX, big ass exchange. I think they're a sponsor of Man City Football Club. Plan to delist privacy tokens in early 2024. Monero, Zcash, Dash, Horizon, That's a big deal. It's a big goddamn deal. So again, more big ass coins going. And it's going to keep happening. It's going to keep happening because an exchange isn't going to put up an enormous legal battle with a government. Not unless they are the wealthiest exchange. Maybe Binance is prepared to do it. But even then, this news has come out. This was this came out today. Privacy coins Monero, Zcash, Horizon at risk of delisting by Binance. It's flagged several privacy coins with a monitoring tag indicating that they are at risk of being delisted from its platform. They've added a monitoring tag to Monero, Zcash, Horizon, and Firo. They said that the tokens with monitoring tags exhibit notably higher volatility and risks compared to other listed tokens and are at risk of no longer meeting our listing criteria and being delisted from the exchange. It's a nice roundabout way of saying we're going to comply with the EU rather than saying we're going to comply with the bloody EU. And this is the problem. This is the problem. Because if 
exchanges delist all privacy coins. There's no volume to go through. There's no money to be used to buy them. How are you going to trade these coins if they're not on centralized exchanges? Then you've got to go to decentralized exchanges. The thing is, there's, a lot of these aren't listed on decentralized exchanges. So there's no goddamn volume to come for them. So the prices die. Horizon should hit 200 bucks next year. That's actually its target, right? They've got one of the greatest um, scalable networks in all of crypto. They've got a phenomenal team. They've got one of the largest node networks in all of crypto. They are a mainstay in this market. They've been here for years. And yet, there is a very real concern here that Horizon and Monero and all these other coins are about to have a very, very, very tough year. Because if they're delisted off of all the biggest exchanges, no one can trade them. And privacy is something we should crave, we should want, but unless the people are the ones making a stand against this, governments will force through what they can. And that's always been my concern. I hope Horizon can figure out how to remove themselves from this privacy moniker because I think the tech is brilliant. I think they have the potential to run an incredible ecosystem. Um, this, it's already good, but it could be unbelievable. But the moment all these coins are delisted, they can go to zero. That's the reality. You know, the only way they don't go to zero in theory is peer-to-peer -peer purchases or DEXs. As of right now, very few of them are on DEXs. So, yeah, it's a really crappy situation if you are a privacy coin holder. And it's something you've got to be aware of because your risk is massive now. Um, and it's only going to get bigger. It's something I've tried to warn consistently. And I will continue to ring that bell, which I believe in the privacy coins. I think they should exist. I don't see a reason that any government should be able to go, no, we don't want them other than the bullshit that they say, like anti-money laundering, like funding terrorism, like whatever, all other bullshit that they talk about. But unless literally everyone takes, everyone in crypto takes a stand against this, there's no stopping the government. So if you're a privacy coin holder, be careful out there. Um, yeah. Uh, and guys, look, Suffice to say, I don't own any privacy coins. Uh, but if you want to see the coins that I own, you can do head over to copymycrypto.com. That's the site I run where I share with all my members every coin that I own. Anytime I buy a crypto, I jump onto my site. I tell my members what crypto I'm going to buy, what profits I think it can have, and what percentage of my cash I'm going to put in. And when I sell a crypto, I do the same thing. I let my members know what crypto I'm selling, what percentage of my holdings I'm selling, and what I'm doing with my profits. If you go on to copymycrypto.com, you'll be able to see the things I've said in the past. You'll be able to see what the members have earned. One of the things I said in the past, I did a whole course that cost $20 in 2020 about Phantom. Why Phantom was a coin that would 100x or more, it ended up doing 700x gains. The people that took that course became millionaires. Hell, if you had only put in $20, if you'd put in the exact, exact same money that you spent on the course, you could have made 14 grand. When I find the next Phantom, I'm not doing a course like I did in 2020. I'm just jumping onto my site and telling my members about the coin. So if you want to find the next 100x coin, copymycrypto.com is where you go. And that's it from me, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.